YouTube guy again. Now, in, in the last video, we talked about coronavirus. Now let's talk about a related virus called the measles. And you've probably heard all those scary stories about measles. So if you are under 10 years old, then I say turn off the video. Okay, but if you're above 10 years old, you can keep watching. So, so like, like I do in a lot of virus videos, we draw, we draw out the virus. A virus is also sort of like the coronavirus and the HIV virus, which look, and some flu viruses. They all look pretty similar. Right, so that's a measles. Right, that's a measles virus. And yeah, it's bad. And the places it goes are the lungs. It's very hard to write on a screen, so that's why it's stuff. The lungs. Bladder. and skin. So these are the destinations. Now, now, let's go there. Now let's visit these places with our unfriendly trap, with our unfriendly traveler, measles. So let's go on a trip. Let's go on a trip starting from the, the mouth. Now these are the lungs. These are the lungs. But it all starts from your mouth or your nose. Let's just say that's your mouth. And your mouth does not look like that. And then some measles accidentally get in your body. Usually, you wouldn't put put your face so close to a contaminated surface and breathe, but some. But then you got measles, and it enters your body. Now, every first stop is a bloodstream. So, and bloodstreams like the highway network of your body and. The exit that they take, the exit that we're gonna take are the lungs. Cause we're, so we're gonna follow that measles virus to the lungs. Right. So like the coronavirus, it kicks out those epithelial cells and starts putting the immune system into factories, to like their own factories which can be pretty bad, sort of hijack them, basically just like the coronavirus does. Right, and when it does that, let's go back, turns them into weapons factories, and so does the opposite job, and so does the job of the immune system to kick out the viruses, but instead, Measles is kicking out the immune system, which is why you need to go to the hospital and then like Sort of this is this is basically like coronavirus except The mild sim the mild symptoms is pretty bad Then you have to like get immune pills and then like get things to like like make the measles get so exhausted because they have to deal with the breathing they're like basically trying to attack you and with all those help like the ventilators and the skin covers they they get exhausted which when those pills they give you the immune system successfully fight fights 
the missile's off. So it invaded the lungs and it hijacked the immune system. Usually they're getting ventilators. Now, now their friends are going on a trip to the bladder. Let's follow them. <laughs> Okay, they made it to the bladder. They made it to the bladder. Now, here are the kidneys. Now, here's and here's the bloodstream coming to the kidneys. I don't know, this is the main bloodstream. And then coming to the kidneys to fill out to get the urea, which is waste stuff from your cells, the fluids, to put it into your, and enter it into your kidneys. That's also part of another system. So this is half of the urinary system, with the exposition system. So try to get the waste out of your body. And then the measles virus is in your bloodstream. Hi, my name is measles. And then, Trist, and then it's in your kidneys. And then, when when there's a flight to the bladder, so there's okay. Take off departure for the bladder. It's a great flight. Not good for measles. And take the route to the bladder and infect it. This can cause bladder pain, storm, can cause lots of cramps. It can also cause you for not to go pee, which means that all that urine, the ur all that urea is has nowhere to go. And then the and then it takes the urea back into the bloodstream to pollute the area. And that can lead to blood pressure, the high, to high blood pressure and heart disease. And yeah, that, and as you thought, it's bad. Okay. So that's bad. Okay, so that's pretty bad. Now, now let's follow them to, to, the third destination, the skin. Now your skin has many layers. Well, not many, th two layers. Oops, that's a racer. So, first layer is the dermis. And I, I, I'm just using this galaxy color because it's not I can't find a color that like best matches this this color's pretty cool okay so there's the dermis and then here's the epidermis the epidermis This is the layer where your skin is, with all your hair and stuff. Hmm. Okay. 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 Right, so now here's the bloodstream. too thin and then they have some nerves connecting to their skin and then we follow our so-called friends except they're enemies and into fluids now we all know the immune system is trying to stop them but the immune system is sort of hijacked so it stops some invaders but it doesn't stop all of them and the 
tiny and even tinier than the immune system, which are the complement system, don't work on viruses. So bad, very bad. And then it goes to your skin. And we all know the thing, which is the most common thing for on the news for measles is a rash. Which can cause severe rashes also. So overall we discovered the symptoms which are bladder pain, rashes, coughing, and fever. But then when it travels to your brain it can cause coma and then it can make you go into coma and then eventually. But now let's talk about the measles vaccine. Now, lots of kids, not including me, are allergic to the measles vaccine, which can cause even some measles, which can even cause some measles symptoms if they're allergic. So if they're allergic, it may, may actually, let's save allergies for another video. So thanks for watching and that's